Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise for tonight's invocation offered by Andrew Fork and remain standing to honor America with the playing of our national anthem by the best sounding band in the land, the Purple Haze Pip Band. Would you pray with me? God, we thank you for this today. We thank you for this opportunity to watch these athletes play. We ask that you protect them as they play on the court and let everything that we do in the stands and the court glorify and honor you. Just now I pray. Amen. Welcome to Prather Coliseum, on the beautiful campus of the Northwestern State University. And now let's get ready for tonight's game by meeting our starting lineups. First, for our visitors from Beaumont. At forward, a 6'5 senior from Houston, Texas, number one, James Harrison. At forward, a 6'8 junior from Mesquite, Texas, number 11, Josh Enzikor. At guard, a 6'5 senior from Nome, Texas, number 12, Zori Bosha. At forward, a 6'5 senior from Nederland, Texas, number 21, Colton Weisbrock. And at guard, a 6'1 senior from Newark, California, number 32, Joey Frenchwood. Head coach for the Cardinals is Tick Price, assisted by Bobby Kumer, Justin Bailey, and Brandon Chappelle. And now, Demon fans, on your feet! And welcome today's Northwestern State Starters. At guard, a 5'10 freshman from Monroe, Louisiana. Number zero, C.J. Jones. At guard, a 6'3 senior from Compton, California. Number one, Isaiah Sweeney. At guard, a 6'7 junior from Clarence, Louisiana. Number 10, Malik Muchwire. At forward, a 6'8 junior from Port Allen, Louisiana. Number 20, Ismail And at forward, a 6'5 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois. Number 34, Brandon Hutton. Head coach of the Demons is Mike McConaughey, assisted by Jeff Moore, Bill Lewis, and Jacob Spielbauer. And Lamar State Port Arthur. The Cardinals are coached by Tick Price, 60 and 63 in his fourth year at the helm of the Cardinals, 227 and 185 overall in his 13th year as a head coach. The Demons will start like this at the point with C.J. Jones. Jones, 5'10", 160, the freshman from Monroe out of Wassman High School. Isaiah Sweeney, 6'3", 190. Sweeney out of Compton, California, a senior from Compton High School, Portland State, and East Los Angeles Junior College. Uh, Malik McTwire, 6'7", 200, the junior from Clarence, Louisiana, out of Lakeview High School. Brandon Hutton, 6'5", 215, sophomore transfer from Chicago, Illinois, De La Salle High School, University of Iowa, and Indian Hills Community College. And in the middle, Ishmael Lane, 6'8", 250, the junior from Port Allen High School, Port Allen, Louisiana. The Demons, 3-19 overall, 0-11 in conference play. Coached by Mike McConaughey, 283 and 295 in his 19th year at the helm of the Demons, 634 and 5, 454 in his 35th year overall as a head coach. Lamar wins the tip. They work it inside. Turn around with the right hand. Point blank, no good for Josh and Zeker. Rebound pulled down by Ishmael Lane. Into the front court, the Demons 
move. C.J. Jones left alone at the top, flips it left wing to Malik McTwire. Was looking inside, but Ishmael Lane had fallen down. McTwire gives it inside the lane. Ball is stripped away, but McTwire comes back up with it. McTwire drove the baseline, flipped it to Lane, but Lane had it stripped away. C.J. Jones off a high screen. Jones drives with the left hand, flips it in the left corner. Six to shoot. Hutton back to Jones. Deep three from the top. Good for C.J. Jones. Demons are the worst three-point shooting team in the country. They shoot less than 27% from beyond the arc. And Mike McConaughey mentioning that it seemed like his guys were a little nervous, still scared to shoot, and he didn't like seeing that. So Colton Weisbrot gets an offensive rebound off a miss by Inzeker on the left baseline. Air ball only eight to shoot now as Frenchwood has it out deep, guarded by C.J. Jones. Five to shoot. Frenchwood pushes off, step back at the left elbow, no good. Defensive rebound, Malik Matwire. Demons lead three to nothing as Matwire brings it into the front court. To Jones, left corner, Brandon Hutton. Starts to drive, pulls it back out. Ishmael Lane, left wing, out long to Jones. 20 to shoot, minute and a half gone by. Malik Matwire. Dribbles, picks up his dribble, wants to hand off to Isaiah Sweeney. Now gets it in the corner instead to Ishmael Lane. 10 to shoot. Lane drives right baseline into traffic. Shot no good. A lot of contact. Rebound pulled down by Lamar. Frenchwood ahead to James Harrison. Harrison into the front court. Left wing long. Looking inside after picking up his dribble. Looks it in the corner. Wise Broad comes away with it against Brandon Hutton. Spins to the right hand. Goes up. He draws the foul. And instead a traveling violation is called first by James Durham. So... Wisebrod travels before he's fouled, and we go the other way. Colton Wisebrod, six double-doubles on the season. Guy who's very good at drawing fouls. Matter of fact, this Lamar team leads the Southland Conference and is top ten in the country, having attempted nearly 600 free throws already this season. High screen and roll for Jones. Looks at right wing to Matwire, looking inside. Now we'll dribble handoff with Jones back to the right wing. Matwire comes to set the screen for him, spins away from it. Now takes the screen to the right wing, works with the left hand to the free throw line. Back to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney penetrates from there. Step back, little floater is no good on the front iron. Ishmael Lane tracks the rebound down in the corner. Back to Matwire. Demons lead three to nothing. Sweeney in the left corner as it knocked away. It'll stay Demon basketball. Tick Price, fourth-year head coach of the Cardinals, not pleased. James Durham, our lead official. Ross Cullins, Jr., and Nathan Bemis, the other two. Ball on the left side. Malik McTwire back to the basket. Flips it back out to C.J. Jones. He'll penetrate, pull up from the left elbow. That one is good. C.J. Jones, the freshman point guard, has all five of the Demons' points in the early going as they lead five to nothing. Lob inside. Ishmael Lane can't quite get the tip. They lob it all the way back out to the right wing. Three from Harrison. That one's no good front iron. Offensive rebound in Zeker. High screen and roll. Down the right side is Zori Bosha. Now he has it ball stripped. Picked up by Weiss. Brought out long. 19 to shoot. Frenchwood, the point guard, pulls it back out. Inside the half-court circle. Now we'll step forward. Works with the left hand. All the way into the left corner it goes. Harrison, he traveled with it. Knocked down the three, but traveled first. A couple of turnovers on Lamar. Tick Price not pleased with the start for his Cardinals as the Demons lead 5 to nothing. 16-45 left to go. The Cardinals have missed all four of their shots. The Demons have made two of their first four, including C.J. Jones from three. Jones will drive the right side off glass and good. Jones has seven. All seven of NSU's points have come from C.J. Jones as Tori Noel gets set to check into the ball game for Joey Frenchwood. Ball on the right wing, Zori Bosha. Bosha will hand off to Frenchwood. Looking inside, gets it inside. Ball knocked away, picked up again by Wisebrod. Guarded by Hutton. Wisebrod spins inside, up and under move. Shot is too strong. Rebound Brandon Hutton. Ishmael Lane with a nice help side defense. Forced that to be a little tougher shot than it should have been. Brandon Hutton full head of steam down the right side. Pulls it back out, lobs it inside to Malik McTwire. McTwire back to the basket, scoops with the left hand, no good. Rebound to James Harrison. Harrison gets it ahead to Frenchwood. Frenchwood will drive the right side, and that's going to be a blocking foul before the shot. And we'll have her under 16 media timeout. Foul on C.J. Jones. It's C.J. Jones 7. No one else anything. 15-54 left to go in the first half of play. Northwestern State leads 7 to nothing. Take a timeout. Come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. Demons to 4-0-2-1-3 for your chance to sit in the best seat in the house. Sponsored by Ivan Smith Furniture.
country and manpower. Five fresh bodies on the floor for the Demons. Czar Perry, six foot 170, the freshman from El Dorado, Arkansas, El Dorado High School. Darian Dixon, 6'8", 220, the freshman from Bowie, Maryland. Bishop McNamara and the Scotland Performance Institute of Pennsylvania. DeAndre Love, 6'4", 190, the junior transfer from Seattle, Washington, West Seattle High School and Eastern Arizona Junior College. Also in the ballgame, Larry Owen, 6'8", 260, freshman from Monroe at a Carroll High School. Tori Noel in the first time as Harrison takes a three left wing and buries it. James Harrison knocks down the triple, makes it 7-3. to three. Czar Perry kicks it off his own feet, and that's going to be a quick turnover and an easy buck at the other end for Colton Weisbrod. So a quick five points for Lamar off the Demons' turnover. DeAndre Love into the front court. Trap flips it out long to Czar Perry right side. Perry looks, gets it in the corner. Love, Love looking inside, back to Perry. Czar Perry with the first turnover by the Demons, and now the second one on an illegal screen call by Darian Dixon. Dixon will pick up his first personal. So the first wave came in. Oh, also into the ball game, I missed Vontae Ott, 6'8", 185, the freshman from Victorville, California, Hesperia High School. No one on the floor right now for the Demons played for NSU last year. You've got four freshmen and a JUCO transfer. Ball in the left corner, Harrison. He'll take another three. That one's no good. Offensive rebound inside, inside to Wisebrod. Puts it back up, no good. Larry Owens collects that rebound. Here comes Czar Perry into the front court. Flips it ahead to Darian Dixon, and Dixon is mugged as he tries to go up with it, says Nathan Bemis. Foul called on James Harrison, and that'll be two free throws for Darian Dixon, the freshman from Bowie, Maryland had a chance to meet Darian Dixon's folks. They uh, were in, are in town and uh, got to see them. Got to holler them out at Chili's. A really, really nice group, uh, nice folks. Uh, Dixon knocks down the first free throw. Told them they've raised a really good kid as Caleb Starks replaces Vontae Ott, 6'3", 195, the freshman from Lafayette, Lafayette Christian Academy. Uh, but I told Darian's folks they have raised a good kid, Darian. Quiet guy, but a very, very good kid, and one of those you certainly can tell has been raised right. Two free throws down for Darian Dixon. It's 9-5. to five. They lob it inside on the baseline in the hands of Z Josh and Zeker. Backs down Larry Owens, spins baseline, back up through. Tough shot is no good. Gets his own rebound, throws it back out. Three on the way from Noel is no good. Long, DeAndre Love clears the rebound. Love will bring it into the front court himself. Out long to Zar Perry. Corey Noel, 5'10", 190, the senior from Midwest City, Oklahoma, Midwest City High School in Northern Oklahoma Junior College. Three on the way from Czar Perry is no good. Long rebound. Here comes James Harrison. Harrison goes up with it off glass and good. Harrison has five of Lamar's seven points. Nine to seven as Darian Dixon gets it into Czar Perry with a little defensive harassment from Corey Noel. Left corner, DeAndre Love. Back out to Perry. Top of the key. Larry Owens, skip to the left corner. DeAndre Love will penetrate from there. Goes up with a tough little floater, no good. Rebound to Colton Weisbrod. He'll flip it to Noel. Cross court to Harrison up the left-hand side. Harrison dribbles it off his own butt. Gives it to Weisbrod at the top. Working against Love. Now left wing to Harrison. Lob inside on the left baseline. And Zeker throws it back out long to Harrison. He'll drive with the right hand and travel with it. Fresh bodies on the floor for the... Cardinals, Nick Garth, three-point specialist, six foot 191, the junior from Houston, Texas, Cypress Lakes High School. Also into the ball game is TJ Atwood, 6'6", 203, the sophomore from Beaumont out of Central High School, and Deshaun Robinson, 6'3", 210, the senior from Houston, Texas, Aleaf Elsick High School, Navarro Junior College, and Louisiana Tech. And Vontae Ott will check in to replace DeAndre Love. Mike McConaughey sitting DeAndre Love down saying, look, I'm going to get you right back in the game. I think what he's going to tell him is if you've got that open three, take it. Czar Perry works to the top, dribbles, spins into the lane, lost, lost the ball as he was taken to the ground. Atwood brings it back, back out to Noel. Noel to the free throw line, back to the left corner. Three from Robinson is no good. Rebound, Caleb Starks. Starks flipped to Czar Perry. Perry will bring it into the front court, lob it inside to Larry Owens. Tough catch, tough finish. Good look from Czar Perry to Larry Owens. 11-7 in favor of the Demons with 13.07 left to go. First half of play, Atwood out long. Nick Garth, got to watch him from three. He hands off to Sean Robinson off the screen. Robinson works to the top. He'll hand off to Noel, back up top to TJ Atwood. Down on the low block, backing in. Tough floater is up and no good. 
Could have very easily been over the back on Josh and Zeker. Instead, Larry Owens collects the rebound. Sar Perry into the front court. Crosses over, works to the right side, crosses back over twice as it's stripped. And back the other way comes Tori Noel. Noel takes it all the way with the right hand scoop and good. Tori Noel just took it from Zar Perry. And went and scored on the other end. First five getting set to check back into the ball game for the Demons. Perry into the corner for Caleb Starks. Starks inside to Larry Owens, tapped away. And we'll have five fresh bodies on the floor for Northwestern State. Malik Matwire, C.J. Jones, Isaiah Sweeney, Ishmael Lane, and Brandon Hutton. Well, Zar Perry had a beautiful assist, missed a three, turned it over three times. And the Demons will inbound from just in, in front of the, uh, just to the right of the rim. They take it. That shot is up and good from Ishmael Lane. Just stepped back, took a little 13-footer and knocked it down. Demons lead 13-9. 12-12 left to go, first half of play. Good first half so far for the Demons. Lamar shooting just four of 15 in the early going. Noel, boy, carrying it every single time he dribbles. Throws it out long and throws it away. Tori Noel turns it over, and we've got our 12-minute media timeout. Exactly 12 minutes left to go in the first half of play. Northwestern State leads Lamar 13-9. Take a break, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. There was a magic marker that went flying onto the court during the timeout as uh, Northwestern leads Lamar 13 to 9. Tick Price obviously not pleased with what's going on so far. First wave back out for the Demons. C.J. Jones out long on the dribble, gets the high screen, flips it right wing to Malik Matwire. Matwire dribbles, flips it to Ishmael Lane at the free throw line. He'll drive the right side into the corner. Brandon Hutton back out long to C.J. Jones, 14 to shoot. Jones right side, drives in from there, scoops with the left hand, good! C.J. Jones has nine of the Demons' 15 points. Jones, the freshman, playing with a lot of uh, confidence right now. He's played with a lot more confidence since Zar Perry came back, and he knows he doesn't have to play 40 minutes a game. Ball out long. Nick Garth off the dribble, takes it in, floats it with the right hand, good. Nick Garth's first points of the ball game makes it 15-11. In favor of the Demons, Malik Matwire dribbling on the right wing. Hand off to Brandon Hutton, stripped away, but Hutton gets it back. Screen and roll with Ishmael Lane. Hutton to the left elbow, left corner Jones. He'll fire a three. Back iron no good, but he's fouled. They just called a foul on C.J. Jones? They called an offensive foul on C.J. Jones, who shot a three and then was called for an offensive foul somehow. I'm not sure how that works. Jones picks up his second personal, though. Ball in the corner. Harrison fires another three, and that one's good. He's got a pair of threes in this game. It's 15-14. Azar Perry's going to have to check in for C.J. Jones, who suddenly has a pair of fouls. Hand off a steal. Isaiah Sweeney is going to be fouled near half court by Zori Bosha. Or Zai Sweet is going to foul Zori Bosha. Bosha got the steal as Zar Perry will check into the ball game. The Demons have turned it over quite a bit already. This Lamar team predicated on pressure defense. They force nearly 18 turnovers a game. That's top 10 in the nation. Just third best in the Southland as Stephen F. Austin leads the nation in that step. 
but uh, eighth in the country. Double screen for Garth. They get it up top to Atwood. P.J. Atwood, back cut on the left side. Drive through, step to the right corner, Garth, and Garth's going to be fouled by Sweeney, and that's his second. 10.24 left to go in the first half of play. It's 15-14 in favor of NSU. Demons have hit 6 of 11 from the field. The Cardinals have hit 6 of 17 from the field. But the Demons have turned it over six times now. Garth into the left corner. That's T.J. Atwood. Excuse me, that's uh, Zori Bosha. Now to Atwood. Atwood on the left baseline, crowded closely by Malik Matwire. Works around him, loses the ball on the way up. Malik Matwire comes away with it, feeds it to Ishmael Lane. Back to Zar Perry. Perry into the front court. Works off a pair of screens at the top. Now gets it to the left baseline, takes it all the way in, and he's fouled. Nick Garth will commit his first personal. That's just the second team foul called against Lamar. As Colton Weisbrod and Josh and Zeker will check back into the ball game. Isaiah Sweeney is out. DeAndre Love is in. Malik Matwire, DeAndre Love, Ishmael Lane, Brandon Hutton, and Zar Perry. Demons will inbound, three abreast at the free throw line. They'll get it into Brandon Hutton. Hutton goes up short. Had a nice little look at a five-footer, just couldn't quite get it to fall. Into the front court, Joey Frenchwood is back in at the point guard spot. Now in the hands of James Harrison. He's got eight to lead the way for the Cardinals. Colton Wise brought on the left wing. Drives against Malik Matwire. Skips it all the way to the right corner. Wide open three from there is long. Weisbrod gets the long rebound. He'll spin inside. Go up with the right hand. That one's no good. Malik Matwire clears the rebound. Gives to Zar Perry. Perry will press into the front court. Looking for the high screen and roll from Matwire. Gets it. Now backs it out. Works off a screen from Ishmael Lane. Takes the long two from the top. Buries it. Zar Perry's first points of the ball game. 17-14, Perry coming off of a 12.3 assist ball game against McNeese, where he went 6 of 12 from the field. Joey Frenchwood into the front court. Dribbling out long against Zar Perry. Clock goes under nine minutes remaining. Demons lead by three, 17-14. Ball at the top now, right side, Zori Bosha. Bosha to Colton Weisbrod, around left wing. Harrison thinking about the deep three. Get the screen, Demons... Give it to Frenchwood now, left wing deep three from jo Joey Frenchwood is good. And we are tied at 17. Quickly back the other way, Zar Perry takes it in, tried to flip it over DeAndre Love, but it's tapped away by Lamar. Vontae Ott, Larry Owens, Darian Dixon will all check into the ball game. Malik Matwire, Brandon Hutton, Ishmael Lane will leave. DeAndre Love thought he was leaving, but he's gonna stay in. 35 left. Demons with three across in front of the free throw line again. They get it underneath to DeAndre Love. It's a tough pass. He'll throw it all the way back out to Vontae Ott. Ott feeds to Zar Perry. Perry long right wing. 15 to shoot. Perry works past Joey Frenchwood. Flips it over to Darian Dixon and he's fouled. Great look from Perry to Dixon. And Dixon will shoot two more free throws as James Harrison picks up his second foul. So the leading scorer for Lamar right now with eight points. Joey Harrison, or James Harrison, excuse me, who coming in averages eight points a game. Now has two fouls. Darian Dixon knocks down the first free throw. He's three for three from the charity stripe. The only attempts the Demons have had so far. All from Darian Dixon, and he's four for four. So good start for him. In front of his folks, 19-17. Quickly back the other way come the Cardinals. That's going to be a traveling violation as Josh Inzeker got a pass and then took an extra stutter step to go up and dunk it. So we go the other way. Turnover number six by the Cardinals. The Demons also have six. Zar Perry off the screen. Double team. Flips it to Larry Owens right wing. Back out to Zar Perry. Perry works all the way around to the top. Now wants a high screen from Larry Owens. Owens slips it. Perry tries to go inside. It's tipped and turned over. Back the other way comes Harrison. Oh, he traveled with it. Not called. Wow. Three is no good. But we're going to have an over-the-back violation on Josh and Zeker. Wow, they missed the travel like nobody's business. But in Zeker gets called for the over-the-back violation. And we've got our under eight media timeout. 7.54 left to go, first half of play. 19.17 Demons over Lamar. We'll take a break, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network.
service to be. This Demon Sports Network broadcast is brought to you by State Farm agents Buddy Wood, Jim Pledger, Glenn Talbert, Mike Murphy, and Linda Lug. Northwestern State up to 1917. Both teams with multiple turnovers. Demons are shooting at 54% from the field. Lamar at 33%. Demons avoid a turnover as DeAndre Love, nope, he stepped on the sideline. Zar Perry lobbed it ahead to Love. He was very careful in the corner as Lamar ran a little trap near half court. Perry dribbled into it, then tried to lob it ahead into the corner for DeAndre Love. And uh, Love stepped on the baseline, or stepped on the sideline. Joey Frenchwood into the front court. Demons lead by two, 19-17. Colton Wise brought at the top of the key, will drive with the right hand, takes it all the way, shot block, shot, is, rebound's gonna be picked up by Vontae Ott. Ott brings it into the front court, he's a house of fire, flips it over to Larry Owens, Owens spins inside, he goes up and puts it in, Larry Owens, a whirling dervish. Multiple spins by Larry Owens. Joey Frenchwood hands off to Nick Garth. Garth drives in, floats it with the right hand, that is no good, but he's fouled by Larry Owens with the body. And rimmed in and out, Owens will pick up his first personal. So that will send Nick Garth to the free throw line. Garth, the third leading scorer for the Cardinals coming in. An 80% free throw shooter. This Cardinals team has two different guys who shot at least 130 free throws this year. First one from Garth is good. Nick Garth has three. 21-18, Demons with the lead. 7-10 left to go, first half of play. Second free throw is also good for Garth. He's got four points, a little full court pressure here by Lamar. Czar Perry, Darian Dixon, they flip it ahead to DeAndre Love. Love to the right corner. Trap there, steps through, and he's gonna be fouled beforehand. As he went to step through, foul was called on Zori Bosha. That's his first. Fifth team foul against Lamar. Demons have been called for six. NSU will inbound from the right baseline. Czar Perry gets it into Vontae Ott. Ott dribbles in with the left hand, steps through, puts it up, no good, gets his own rebound, shot is blocked, and then a long rebound out to Nick Garth. Garth will bring it into the front court, dribble it back to the left wing, into the corner now, three on the way from Bosha, that one's no good. Weisbrot has the rebound tipped away from it, balls on the floor, Dixon picks it up, lobs it out, Owens ahead to Zar Perry. Perry into the front court, he'll go behind the back, stop at the left elbow, bury it! Oh, baby! Zar Perry makes it 23-19, back the other way quickly, high off glass, no good. Vontae Ott knocked out of bounds on the rebound, so it'll belong to the Cardinals. Off the miss, high arcing shot off the backboard, but what a shot by Zar Perry. As he went behind the back, got to the left elbow and knocked that one down. DeAndre Love looks like he has a little blood maybe. He's gonna have to go get checked out, so uh, Caleb Starks comes in for him. 6.19 left to go, first half of play. Demons lead 23-19, and we're gonna have an offensive foul call on Jordan Foster. Foster, 6'9", 225, the freshman from Lafayette's Como High School. Avery Sullivan now will check in for Lamar for Jordan Foster. Sullivan, 6'8", 220, the freshman from Pflugerville High School, Pflugerville, Texas. Little full court pressure here by Lamar. Zar Perry flips it ahead to Vontae Ott. Ott into the front court with it. Double team coming and he loses it. And he's fouled and he fouls Zori Bosha. Vontae Ott, a little too impatient with a the basketball there. Picks up his first personal after the turnover. That is turnover number nine by the Demons. Five so far by Zar Perry, who also has four points and one of the Neiman's three assists. NSU is at 53% from the field right now, nine of 17. Lamar has hit just 29% from the field. This is a squad that shoots 43% on the season. Front end of the one and one is good for Zori Bosha. His first points of the ball game. He is the fourth leading scorer for Lamar coming in, averaging just under Eight points, excuse me, just under 10 points per ball game. He knocks down both free throws, does Bosha. He's got two. Full court pressure again. Demons diagonal passing to work it up. Darian Dixit gets it back to Caleb Starks. Here comes the trap on Starks. Starks lobs it back out to Zar Perry. Perry flips it in the left corner. Three from Vontae Ott. Back iron, no good. Long rebound, Colton Weisbrod. He'll flip it ahead to Nick Garth. 
Garth into the front court. He's going to stop and take the deep three. No good left side. Wisebrod the offensive glass. Putback is up and good. Colton Wisebrod has four, and we are tied at 23 apiece. Again, full court pressure. Dixon flips it ahead to Vontae Ott. Ott will attack up the left-hand side. Double team comes, and Ott's foul. Nick Garth picks up his second personal, looks at James Durham and says that's not a foul. Demons will bring in five fresh bodies, but first we're going to have a one and one, so Malik McTwire is going to stay put. C.J. Jones will come back in, playing with a couple of fouls. Demons have used the rotation well. Game tied at 23 with 5.25 left to go. Nick Garth still complaining as he walks off the floor. Vontae Ott, front end of the one and one is no good. We're going to have a foul underneath on Colton Wisebrod. Wisebrod will pick up his first personal. And so that will send Brandon Hutton to the free throw line to shoot the one and one. And Nathan Beam is going to be called over by Tick Price. Price wanting an explanation. Him and him down. Nathan Beam is saying he hooked him and pulled him down. Front end of the one and one is short anyway, so the Demons missed two consecutive free throws on the front end of the one and ones. Ball in the right corner, Zori Bosha, game tied at 23. Out long to Wisebrod, guarded by Brandon Hutton. Wisebrod dribbles out long, dribble handoff to Joey Frenchwood. Frenchwood works off a screen, gets it back to Wisebrod. Wisebrod with the left hand, nine to shoot to Frenchwood. Deep three from the left wing. Back iron, no good. Rebound tipped right into the hands of Bosha. Shot blocked. Rebound again to Bosha. That time he puts it up, no good, but he's fouled. Foul called on Malik McTwire. That is his first. 4.55 left to go. Northwestern State has uh, Tick Price calling James Durham over to talk with him. He is our lead official tonight. Zori Bosch's first free throw is good, and Lamar has its first lead of the ball game, 24-23. Beeman started the game on a 7-0 run, all courtesy of C.J. Jones, who has nine points in the first half. Bosch makes all, uh, all four of his free throws so far. Lamar leads by two, 25-23. Ishmael Lane gets it into the front court. Back to McTwire to C.J. Jones. Jones, high screen with McTwire. Works against Noel. Now works with the left hand, flips it back on the bounce pass. He's Aya Sweeney in trap, kicked it away. Ball is loose, still loose, and finally a jump ball will be called. Possession will stay with the Demons with 10 to shoot. So 10 to shoot for the Demons, 434 left to go. First half of play, Lamar leads 25-23. Shot clock at 10 seconds as the Demons line up three across in front of the rim. They lob it into Ishmael Lane at the free throw line. He'll drive in the right side, has it stripped. Frenchwood comes away with the strip, flips it ahead to Noel. Noel into the front court. He drives between defenders, goes up, shot is good, and he's fouled as Malik McTwire tried to draw the charge. And Noel gets the basket. McTwire picks up his second personal. So Tori Noel took it coast to coast. That is now an 8-0 run for the Cardinals as they have turned a four-point deficit into a four-point lead. McTwire picking up his second foul. Three different demons with two fouls apiece here in the first half. Noel completes the three-point play. He's got five. Five-point lead for Lamar, 28-23. They're on a 9-0 run. Larry Owens skip pass to C.J. Jones left side. 22 to shoot, 4.15 left to go. First half of play, the Cardinals now lead. 28-23, Demons have turned it over 10 times already in the first half. Jones out long, looking for the high screen from Ishmael Lane. Works around it, and he's fouled. Foul called on Avery Sullivan is his first, and C.J. Jones will shoot one and one. Demons started four for four from the free throw line, all those from Darian Dixon. And then Vontae Ott and Brandon Hutton both missed the front end of one and ones. C.J. Jones can go into double digits with this. He scored uh, no points against McNeese with just one steal. He was 0 for 5 from the field and 0 for 3 from 3. And he knocks down the front end of the 1-1, one one, gives him 10 points. Zar Perry will check in for Isaiah Sweeney. That ends a 9-0 Lamar run. 
Used to, we wouldn't call it a run for the Demons until it was, you know, 15 to 2, something like that. But the way they're having to have been having to operate offensively, 7-0 to start the game is a run for this Demon squad. Ball on the left wing, three on the way from there is good for Zori Bosha. He's got seven. Six-point lead for the Cardinals, their biggest of the ball game, 31-25. Full court pressure, both point guards are on the floor for the Demons, but it's Ishmael Lane and C.J. Jones that are working it up. Zar Perry Trap. He will step up, skip it all the way to the right corner, inside to Larry Owens. Owens reverse layup, good. Hutton with the intermediate pass, and he'll get the assist for that one. Great look from Zar Perry. Bosha will drive left baseline. Shot on the way is no good, but he's fouled by Larry Owens. And that'll be Owens' second personal. So the Demons with two fouls, Larry Owens, Malik McGuire, Isaiah Sweeney, and C.J. Jones. We'll take a break. It'll be more free throws for Lamar when we return. 3.25 left to go in the first half. Lamar leads 31-27. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. For the Demons. Agents Tommy Chester, Trey Murray, Mickey Walker, and Julie Henderson. Demons trail 31-27 despite the fact the Demons are shooting 53% from the field and Lamar just 33%. The difference is turnovers. The Demons have turned it over 10 times. The Cardinals, therefore, have taken 11 more shot attempts than the Demons have. They've also hit four threes. The Demons, meanwhile, have attempted just three threes and have hit one of them. That was C.J. Jones, who already has 11 in this first half of play. In uh, eight minutes, he's four for four from the field, one of one from three, and two of two from the free throw line. So the young C.J. Jones, the freshman from Monroe, having his best game so far as a demon. But the points off turnovers right now are 12-6 in favor of Lamar because the Demons keep turning it over. First free throw is no good. That is the first Lamar free throw miss. Zori Bosha was perfect before that at four for four from the line, and he misses the first and the second. Darian Dixon clears the rebound for the Demons. C.J. Jones will work it up. Zar Perry will be on the wing. Malik Matwire, Darian Dixon, Ishmael Lane. C.J. Jones into the front court, working with the right hand, looking inside. Now they get it out to Zar Perry. Perry at the top, picks up his dribble, lobs it inside. Ball is tapped away, and it'll go out of bounds off of Lamar with 12 to shoot. Tori Noel knocked it away. Demons will inbound from the right sideline. Malik Matwire will trigger the inbound. Demons in a box set. They lob it out to Jones with 10 to shoot. Demons go 1-4 flat. Now Ishmael Lane comes up. Jones works off the screen. Takes it to the left wing. Double team there. Flips it back to Lane with one to shoot from three. No good. Back iron. Long rebound. Noel tracks it down. Goes pie. Ishmael Lane. Noel into the front court, stops at the free throw line, back out long. Zori Bosha will hand off. Demons get everyone switched back onto an appropriate defender. 31-27 Lamar with 2.37 remaining. Ball out long, now to the right wing, into the corner, Wisebrod. He'll work with the left hand against Ishmael Lane, eight to shoot, give off to Bosha. Bosha steps back now to Wisebrod. He'll pull a three from the top, back iron no good. Ishmael Lane knocks Darian Dixon almost down to come away with that rebound. Zar Perry into the front court, looking for the screen from Lane. Perry works to the left wing. 
Now bounce pass up top to Dixon. Dixon back to Perry. Perry inside the lane. Lane goes and turns, puts it up. No good back iron. Rebound knocked around, finally controlled by the Cardinals. Darian Dixon looked like he took an elbow to the chin. French would have had to Wisebrod, and Wisebrod will dunk it easily with the right hand. 33-27, 150 remaining, and finally the officials stop play as uh, Darian Dixon got hit in the face on that rebound on the other end. And Larry Owens will check in for him. Mike McConaughey not pleased that the officials and Mike McConaughey telling his guys, you need to communicate defensively. Minute 51 left, Lamar leads 33-27 as TJ Atwood will check in for Colton Weisbrod. Weisbrod already six points and seven rebounds. Demons are being out-rebounded 18-16, not a terrible margin. And a long conversation with Nathan Bemis here and Ross Cullens Jr. And I think they're going to check the monitor to make sure there wasn't anything untoward on that rebound where Darian Dixon got hit in the face. He got hit in the jaw. So they're going to double-check that there wasn't anything malicious that could have been called a flagrant foul. Well, signing day was today. It was, uh, by all accounts, a great success for the Northwestern State Demons squad. Got a, uh, a lot of speed and length. Those were sort of the key words, the buzzwords for this Demon team, speed and length. They did a nice job with that, seemingly uh, Demons feeling good about where they are at in terms of that squad. By the way, down in Beaumont, Two and a half minutes gone by, and it's tied at two. Lamar, one of the tougher teams in the conference. They cause turnovers like crazy. Lady Demons have turned it over already four times, but they only, right now, a 2-2 ball game. Get a foul underneath. Now, I think we're going to have free throws for Ishmael Lane. T.J. Atwood's going to be called for the foul on the block. So that will send Ishmael Lane to the line to shoot two with 142 remaining, the Demons down six. Certainly you would like to see the Demons kind of hold pace here, keep this three, four, five. You don't want to see that six turn into uh, eight or 10 as Lane makes the first free throw. Ishmael Lane, just three points in the ball game so far with three rebounds. You have the battle of three of the top double-double creators in the Southland Conference. You've got Colton Weisbrod who has six double-doubles. You've got Ishmael Lane who's got seven. And you've got Josh and Zeker who has eight. So a lot of double doubles between the three big men running around out there tonight. Lane calmly makes both free throws. He's got four points. Makes it 33-29 with a minute 40 left to go in the first half of play. Tori Noel into the front court with it. Noel the senior. Works with the high screen. Works past it to the right side, locks it inside. A lot of space cleared and a uh, shot blocked from behind. They get it back to Noel on the right block. Skips it across. Ball is tipped into the corner. Bosha then loses it. Zar Perry comes up with it and he's fouled. And Zar Perry will shoot free throws. Nice hands by the Demons. Foul will be called on Zori Bosha and that's his second. So Bosha, the fourth leading scorer coming in. He's got seven tonight. He picks up his second personal. The leading scorer for Lamarck in this one, uh, James Harrison, also with a pair of fouls. As Zar Perry knocks down the free throw, he's got five. Demons have cut the lead to three, 33-30, with a minute 19 remaining. Great fight from this Demon team in the first half so far. Demons shooting 48% from the field. They have shot 45% from the field in the last four games after shooting less than 40% for pretty much the whole conference season. Perry knocks down the second free throw. Four straight from the charity strike, two by Lane, two by Perry, and we're back to a two-point game, 33-31. Tori Noel, right wing, back up top to Colton Weisbrod. He'll drive with the right hand, shot up glass, no good, and we're gonna have a foul called late. Foul on Darian Dixon, and that'll be two free throws for Colton Weisbrod. And so Dixon will pick up his second. So now Demons with a lot of uh, foul trouble. C.J. Jones, Isaiah Sweeney, Malik Matwire, Darian Dixon, Larry Owens all have two fouls each. And Colton Weisbrod will go to the line to shoot two. First one is good. Weisbrod has seven to go along with his seven rebounds. 34-31, minute five left to go in the first half of play. 
Second free throw, also good for Wisebrod. Eight for him, 35-31. Little full court pressure here by Lamar as they get it ahead to Darian Dixon. Dixon flips it back to Zar Perry. Perry out long with the dribble. Works to the top, lobs it inside to Dixon, who's held. And Darian Dixon will go back to the free throw line. Foul called on Torrey Noel. They recognize the nice matchup right there. They had Dixon on a switch. Darian Dixon at 6'8", 220 against the 5'10", 190 Torrey Noel. And Zar Perry recognized it immediately, lobbed it immediately inside to Darian Dixon, who was fouled and misses the first free throw. That is his first free throw missed of the ball game. Darian Dixon now four for five from the stripe. Demons as a team, 10 of 13 in the first half, 77%, 15 percentage points higher than what they shoot coming in. Dixon makes one of two, he's got five. It makes it 35-32, and we're gonna have a foul before the inbound on Caleb Starks. So Starks will pick up the personal, and we'll have free throws on the other end with 50 seconds left to go. Already 25 free throws combined for these two teams in the first half of play. So Tori Noel, the left-handed point guard, will go to the line to shoot two. First one is good. Noel's got six. Both teams shooting the ball very well from the free throw line as Caleb Starks checks out. Vontae Ott is back in. Demons have been on 10 assists for a while. Now they, they turned it over 10 times early, but uh, have really held fast there. They haven't turned it over in the last several minutes. Zar Perry into the front court, guarded by Noel, goes back to the basket, works off the screen, dribbles all the way back towards half court, tries to lob it inside, it's knocked around. Finally will be picked up by Hutton. Hutton tips it to Lane. Lane over to Darian Dixon. Dixon loses it, gets it back, reverse no good. Lane goes up with it, no good. Tip up, no good. Finally the rebound will go out of bounds off Lamar and it'll belong to the Demons with no shot clock. And Mike McConaughey's gonna call the timeout. He hasn't used one yet, so he's going to use one here to set it up. Great work inside by the Demons on the glass. Continuing to work hard to try to find a way to get a shot up. The Demons can hold for the last shot here with 25 seconds left to go. NSU calls the 30-second timeout. While we have a second, let's check in on the Lady Demons down in Beaumont as uh, NSU's Lady Demons down in Beaumont. If you want to listen to that action, you can catch Jason Pugh on our sister station, 97.5 KDBH, to catch that one. Last update we had was 4-2 uh, to two with 7.03 left to go in the first quarter. Wait for the stat monitor to uh, update itself. And it's now 8-6 to six, Northwestern with the lead. 8-6 to six, Lady Demons. Four points from Leah Barnes and two from uh, Victoria Miller and Jasmine Johnson. By the way, we'll have both halves. I'll have both halves of the doubleheader for you down in Nacogdoches. Three and uh, 3.30 and 6, the start times for those. Ishmael Lane gets the inbound, puts it back to Zar Perry. Demons are going to let Zar Perry hold out near half court. 19 seconds. Demons are going to hold for the last shot. Down five, 37-32. Hopefully they'll be no, no more than down five. Ten seconds, Darian Dixon, now Ishmael Lane will come up. They'll get it to Lane, he'll have it knocked out of bounds with five seconds. Whoa, wait a second. They're gonna say that's Lamar basketball? That was knocked away clearly from behind off of Lane, but they're gonna give it to Lamar with five seconds remaining and now Lamar takes a timeout. And Mike McConaughey just looks stunned. There was no way that ball was off of can they go to the monitor for that? 30 second break, 30 seconds and back with more. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network.
5.1 seconds left to go. Northwestern State down by five and will be on defense here. As Lamar tries to get it in, they get it in long to Torrey Noel. He'll turn and bring it into the front court, drive the left side, takes the layup up and good just before time expires. Well, that was a total breakdown defensively for the Demons. And Lamar will take a seven point lead into halftime as Torrey Noel just went right down the left side of the lane uncontested and laid it up and in. Demon defense was nowhere to be found on that one. So. By the way, down in Beaumont, Lamar has opened up a 13-point lead over the Lady Demons, 27-14 down in Beaumont. So not good news for the Lady Demons. Demons are on defense to start things off. Joey Frenchwood looking inside to Colton Weisbrot. He goes back to the basket. He goes back to the basket. Gets it all the way into the right corner. Back to the right wing. James Harrison penetrates. Floats it with the right hand, and it's good. 41-32. Northwestern State now Northwestern trailing. Northwestern State now. We are 30 seconds in. C.J. Jones on the dribble right side. Gives it out long to Brandon Hutton. Hutton pulls it back out to the left wing. Hutton lobbed to the right side. C.J. Jones floats it with the right hand. Ton of contact, no call. Offensive rebound, Ishmael Lane, and he's fouled. Foul called on Josh Inziker. That is his second. So that will send Ishmael Lane to the line to shoot two. Lamar on the uh, on an eight to one run right now, spanning halftime after the Demons hit it four consecutive free throws to cut the lead down to two at 33-31. As Ishmael Lane misses the first, Demons were 11 for 14 from the free throw line in the first half. Now 11 for 15, Ishmael Lane, his first miss from the charity stripe. He is now two for three. Lane, four points, five rebounds as he knocks down that one. Five points, five rebounds for Ishmael Lane, makes it 41-33. Quickly back, Harrison fires a three, misses it. Long rebound, Harrison comes away with it at the top, flips it on the baseline, back out long. Three on the right wing, Bosha. That one's an air ball and out of bounds. Demons will get the ball back after a couple of missed threes by Lamar. This is a Cardinal team that shoots it at 35% from beyond the arc. That's fifth best in the Southland Conference. The Demons are the worst three-point shooting team in America. They shoot less than 27% from three. C.J. Jones, long two from the top. Front iron, no good. Ishmael Lane tips the rebound. Ball is loose in the corner. It's picked up by... Zori Bosha, he'll flip it to Frenchwood, ahead up the left side to Harrison, behind the back to the left elbow, jumper on the way is good. James Harrison has 12, it is now a 10 point lead for Lamar. 43-33 with 18-33 left to go in the second half of play and Mike McConaughey calls a timeout. James Harrison comes sprinting off the field, off the floor rather, excuse me. We'll have a full timeout. Mike McConaughey calls it. 18.31 left to go in the second half. Demons trail by 10. We'll take a full break. Come back with more after this on the Demons Sports Network. Call 318-357-4268 or visit NSUDemons.com to get your tickets today. Chevy Lance, Bear Town and Country, and Manpower. 
Northwestern State now down by 10. They've been outscored 4-1 to one here in the second half so far. Lamar has hit two of its first four from the field. The Demons have missed their only two. And Demons are on offense. C.J. Jones into the front court with it. Works against Joey Frenchwood. Flips it down low to Ishmael Lane. Double team to a cutting Larry Owens lays it up and in. Great backside cut by Larry Owens. Smart basketball there. Ishmael Lane got double teamed. Owens recognized it and cut down on it. Wise brought on the right side, working against Owens. Now back to Frenchwood at the top. He'll set for three. Rattles in and out, no good. Isaiah Sweeney clears the rebound for the Demons. Sweeney will bring it into the front court, right hand side. Works off the high screen and roll from Ishmael Lane. Now flips it up top to Owens. Owens just loses it as he goes running in. Frenchwood clears it. He'll fire it ahead, and that's going to be a two-hand slam for Josh and Zeker for his first two points of the ball game. Just an unfortunate turnover for NSU as they had a good opportunity there, but Owens just sort of kicked it away. C.J. Jones dribbling, picks up his dribble to Brandon Hutton at the top. Hutton. Now left wing to Isaiah Sweeney inside to Larry Owens. Owens back to the basket. Foul and he gets the turnaround to fall. Larry Owens bumped as he turned around. Josh and Zeker will pick up his third personal. Owens now has 10 points. And the freshman coming through, and that's what you expect to see. This is, again, the fifth youngest team in America coming in. A lot of freshmen. C.J. Jones, true freshman, 11 points. Zar Perry, true freshman, 6. Uh, Larry Owens, true freshman, 10. Darian Dixon, true freshman, 5. So a lot of youngsters for Mike McConaughey that are learning how to make it work. As Larry Owens knocks down the free throw, 45-38. Frenchwood kicks it off his own foot, but back and collects it. Gives it to Wisebrod out long. 17-17 remaining. Wisebrod spins, shot blocked right into the hands of C.J. Jones, blocked by Ishmael Lane. Jones into the front court. Works off the screen at the top, gives it to Lane. Lane underneath to Larry Owens. Owens loses it. Ball tipped out, though, to Jones. Jones is fouled as he takes it inside. Foul will be called on Joey Frenchwood as he tried to come around from behind, reach around, and fouled C.J. Jones in the process. So the foul on Frenchwood will be his first. Demons will lob it in to Ishmael Lane at the free throw line. Lane lobs it into Owens. It's tipped back. Lane comes up with it. Hutton out long to C.J. Jones. 12 to shoot for the Demons. High screen and roll. Jones will work to the right elbow. Flip it inside the lane. Shot blocked from behind by, I think, Jordan Foster got it. And Lamar clears the rebound. They look to push their advantage into the front court. Frenchwood drives the right side. High off glass, no good. Rebound, Larry Owens will inhale that one like a king cake. Into the front court comes C.J. Jones. Jones walks off the high screen and roll. Flips it left wing to Ishmael Lane. Left corner, Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney, left baseline pull up is long. Rebound is going to be an over the back violation on Brandon Hutton. Hutton picks up his first. Sweeney pulled from 17 and a little bit long. Demons down by 7, 45-38 with 16-22 left. NSU shooting 41% from the field. Lamar shooting 36% from the field. Wisebrod has it, flips it ahead. Harrison, Harrison works into the front court, right side to Frenchwood, back out to Harrison, left wing for three, back iron no good. Ishmael Lane clears the rebound for the Demons. He hands it off, but it's stolen away by Bosha, though he kicked it out of bounds. The shot clock shows 28 with 16.06 left to go in the ball game. Demons down seven with the basketball. Jones works to the right wing, flips it back up top to Owens. Owens drives with the right hand into the right wing. Back inside to Owens. Owens back to the basket, goes underneath, misses it. Rebound out of bounds off of NSU. It'll belong to the Cardinals, and Mike McConaughey just looks perplexed with his hand on his hips. 15-51 left to go. Northwestern State down seven. We'll take a break. Come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network.
This Demon Sports Network broadcast is brought to you by Mike and Kenny Knox, Salter Bus Lines, and Kilpatrick Live. 1551 left to go in the ball game. Demons are down 45-38. NSU has started the second half just two of seven from the field, while Lamar has started the second half three of nine. 29% for the Demons, 33% for the Cardinals. Demons are going to pressure full court. They've got Zar Perry in, along with Darian Dixon, Isaiah Sweeney, C.J. Jones, Ishmael Lane. Joey Frenchwood will work it up against Isaiah Sweeney into the front court. And it's instead going to be an offensive foul called on Joey Frenchwood. That'll be his second personal, and Tori Noel will check in. Frenchwood missed a couple of games with an injury. But as Mike McConaughey said, he's kind of the engine for that Lamar offense, though just three points for him so far in this one. Down in Beaumont, Lady Demons trail 34-20 in the second quarter of action. C.J. Jones working against the double team. Flips it out long to Ishmael Lane. Left wing to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney, jab step, works into the lane, and he's fouled. Foul called on Tory Noel is his second. Fifth team foul against the Cardinals with 15-28. Left to go, the Demons down seven, hanging in. Zar Perry will inbound from the left baseline. They get it into Ishmael Lane in the left corner. Inside to Darian Dixon, double teamed and lost it. Wisebrod flips it ahead to the middle. Tory Noel back to Wisebrod into the right corner for James Harrison. Harrison with 12 to lead the way for the Cardinals. Bosha off the screen. Works, looks inside, can't get there. Now to Foster. Around left wing to Noel. He splits defenders, works into the lane. Left side to Wisebrod. Reverse layup up and good. Colton Wisebrod has 10, makes it 47-38. Wisebrod 10 points, seven rebounds. Into the front court, C.J. Jones sends Czar Perry through. Gives it to Perry at the top, looking inside. Now gives it to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney step back to left wing, buries it. Isaiah Sweeney's first bucket of the ball game. He can knock down those mid-range jumpers if you give them to him. Harrison left wing, the lob inside. Triple teamed underneath, and a foul is going to be called as Jordan Foster went in. Foul called on Darian Dixon. That's his third, and Foster will shoot two. Demons down seven. They keep hanging in. 14-31 left to go in the ballgame. NSU over 40% shooting for this game. Demons have, as we mentioned, struggled to shoot for most of the entire season. They're back up to exactly 40% on the year. They've been at 45% in their last four ball games as Jordan Foster misses the first free throw. Darian Dixon will check out. Larry Owens comes in. Nick Garth is in for Lamar for James Harrison. The lefty freshman big man Jordan Foster missed the first. Second one on the way. That one is good. A little bit of a line drive, but it went down his first point of the ball game. 48-40. As C.J. Jones brings it into the front court, works around to the right wing, Noel harassing him. Jones over to Zar Perry. Perry loses it, gets it back. And that's going to be an over and back violation as Zar Perry slipped and fell right at half court, kind of being half ridden down. Mike McConaughey in the ear of Ross Cullen saying, freedom of movement, freedom of movement. And uh, Mike McConaughey contending that there was a deflection, and that's why the ball went back court. But it certainly didn't look that way. They get it into Torrey Noel. Demons down 8, 48-40, with 14-14 remaining. Noel works off the high screen and roll. Demons do a nice shot hedging there. Wise broad at the top, crosses over, flips it underneath on the right baseline. Now all the way back out with 15 to shoot. Zori Bosha, right hand, drives the right baseline, pulls up, shot block, right to C.J. Jones, off the block from Ishmael Lane, ahead to Zar Perry. Perry presses the advantage, lefty scoop is good! Zar Perry's got eight, 48-42. Noel quickly back the other way, but the Demons get back in a hurry, nice job. Noel off the screen, drives the left side, back out to Wisebrod, he'll take the three from the top and buries it. Colton Wisebrod's got 13, makes it 51-42. A timely three from Lamar. Demons have only hit one of four from beyond the arc. They've only taken four. Jones, hand off to Zar Perry. Perry works all the way down the lane. Little floater with the right hand, good. Zar Perry's got 10. 
Back-to-back double-digit games for the freshman from El Dorado, Arkansas. 51-44. Wise brought at the top. Just hit the three. He'll drive with the left hand. Takes it against Lane. Shot blocked by Lane out of bounds. 13.05 left. The Demons remain within seven. 51-44. Wise broad looking at the officials, wanting a foul on that one. Lane took him down as they're going to lob it into Lane against C.J. Jones. He'll turn to face at the free throw line. Drive with the right hand into Lane. Puts it up and in. Wise broad. Has 15, 53-44, nine-point lead. Jones back the other way. Drive in, hand off Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney up top to Ishmael Lane. Hand off to Sweeney, moving to the right wing. Mike McConaughey yelling out instructions. Sweeney works off the screen from Lane. Now back across. Long two from the top. Front iron, no good. Rebound to Colton Weisbrod. Out to Nick Garth. Garth into the front court with it. Pulls it all the way back out. We'll reset with 12 and a half left. The Demons down nine, 53-44. High screen and roll. Garth double teamed out there. Demons do a nice job. Wisebrod gets another look at the top. He'll drive, and he's fouled by Ishmael Lane before the shot. So Ishmael Lane will pick up his first personal as he just sort of reached in to try to knock the ball away as Wisebrod was driving from the top. This is a very senior heavy team for Lamar, so this is the year they really need to make a move. They're six and five in the league. Probably won't win it, but after a big win at, uh, excuse me, at home against Stephen F. Austin, certainly have the ability to win the league, but working from behind. Garth will drive the right side. Tough shot is blocked. Goes out of bounds. It's knocked out of bounds by Larry Owens off of Colton Weisbrod. What a heck of a play by the freshman. Just threw it right off of Weisbrod out of bounds after Garth's shot, I believe, got blocked. It was just a straight miss. I couldn't really see. I was screened out by Lamar head coach Tick Price. C.J. Jones works to the top. Back to Larry Owens' left wing. Owens wants to hand off to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney at the top. Tried to flip it down to Owens. Owens makes the catch, and as he's going out of bounds, but then Lamar catches it. Zori Bosha caught it out of bounds as he was trying to get the steal. So the Demons will keep possession with 15 to shoot. 11.48 left to go. NSU keeps hanging around. 53-44 Lamar. We'll take a break. Come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. Enjoy a clean, fresh Hampton bed and free Wi-Fi. And wake up each morning to their free hot breakfast. Hampton and the NSU basketball, a dream team. Western State down by 9, 53-44. Demons will have the basketball with 15 to shoot. How about the freshman point guards tonight for the Demons? 21 points between them. Uh, C.J. Jones has the 11. Zar Perry has 10. First back-to-back double-digit games of his career for Zar Perry, who played the first four games of the year before uh, missing all the way until the UCA game three games ago with off-the-court issues. But uh, he is back and has back-to-back double-digit games. Ten to shoot. Perry works. Garth just goes right in and by him for the lay-in. Garth was no match for Czar Perry. Took it right past him with the left hand, 53-46. Garth into the front court. Working, looking for the screen. Goes away from it. Now takes it. Dribbles to the right side. Gives to Wisebrod. Wisebrod hands off to Bosha. Bosha back to Wisebrod. Looking inside. Now will dribble it towards the top. Looking for the back cut, not there. All the way right wing. Bosha with seven to shoot. Drives right side. Shot up is blocked by Larry Owens. Owens collects the rebound. He'll dribble it out to C.J. Jones. 
Jones works with the left hand, takes it in, leaves it for Lane, gets it back. Ball is on the floor, and that's going to be out of bounds off of Lamar. As Josh and Zeker will check into the ball game for the Cardinals. Demons are down seven with the basketball. As Malik Matwire will check back into the ball game, replacing C.J. Jones. Czar Perry now with 12 points on five of six from the field. So Malik Matwire will inbound from the left sideline. Gets it out long to Perry. 20 to shoot. Clock goes under 11 minutes remaining. Perry, crossover, works with the left hand, takes it down the left side, and that's going to be an offensive foul called on Czar Perry, who just ran flat over Torrey Noel, who is guarding him close. Perry will pick up his first personal. That'll be his eighth turnover of the ball game. 12 points, one assist, eight turnovers for Zar Perry. Larry Owens looks like he might have got hit in a sensitive spot, so he's going to check out for a moment. 11 points, five rebounds for Owens. A lot of freshmen contributing in this one. Zar Perry with 12, C.J. Jones with 11, Darian Dixon with five and three, Larry Owens with 11 and five. You can see the future of this Northwestern State team developing right before your very eyes. It just takes time. You gotta, gotta keep them together. That's the main thing. They gotta stick together. Wisebrod left wing for three. Good. Colton Wisebrod's got 18, 10 in the second half. Lead is now 10, 56-46 with 10 and a half remaining. Perry guarded by Noel, works off the screen, back to the top. Looking inside, feeds it inside. And that's gonna be a foul on Josh and Zeker, and that's his fourth. Sixth team foul against the Cardinals. And Zeker picks up his fourth foul. He can't go right through the body to knock a pass away. And it's about as easy a call as an official will have. Brandon Hutton will check in to replace Darian Dixon. And the freshman Jordan Foster in to replace Josh and Zeker. Demons will inbound from the left sideline. Four guys across. They lob it out and turn it over. Colton Wisebrod gets the steal. Two on one. Garth takes it in. Leaves for Wisebrod. Picked up on the backside. Layup is missed. But a foul is called. Foul is going to be called on Brandon Hutton. That's his second. Zar Perry turned it over on the inbound. Zar Perry with his ninth turnover of the ball game. Now the true freshman is going to have better days. He still has 12 points. He's five of six from the field. But Mike McConaughey telling Zar Perry, you got to be tough. You got to shake off those things. First free throw is good for Jordan Foster. He's got two points, both in the second half. 11-point lead for Lamar. That's their largest, 57-46 with 10-18 remaining. Second free throw, no good. Ishmael Lane clears the rebound for the Demons. Ahead to Zar Perry. Perry flips it ahead. DeAndre Love. Love's been mostly absent from the offense since he got into the uh, flow of things a few games ago. Crossover, Zar Perry. Works off a screen, crosses over again, spins into the lane. Lefty scoot, no good, but he's fouled, and Czar Perry will shoot two. Boy, Perry is so good with the basketball. Foul on Jordan Foster is his second. Ten minutes exactly left to go as the freshman point guard, Czar Perry, goes to the line. Six in each half so far. Two-time All-Arkansas and three-time All-District as he misses the first free throw. 57-46, Demons are down 11. NSU still shooting it well from the line. Even with that Czar Perry miss, uh, 13 of 18 from the stripe so far. Perry's second free throw, also no good. Rebound, Perry comes away with it initially and he's fouled. Perry's gonna shoot two more. Foul called on Nick Garth, that is his third as Perry was running in to try to collect the loose ball. Garth just pushed him away. And so Perry will get to go to the line to shoot two more. Well, freshman, you missed the last two. Make these two. Make up for it. DeAndre Love will check out, replaced by Isaiah Sweeney. Joey Frenchwood will check in. And Nick Garth. Garth is very close to getting a technical foul from Ross Cullens. He was ch chattering at Ross Cullens, the official, on the way out. Front end of the one and one for Perry. Front iron, backboard, front iron, and in. So Zar Perry's got 13. That is back-to-back -back games now for the freshman with 12 and 13. And make it 14 for Perry, nearing his career high of 15. C.J. Jones will check in. 
Perry will leave momentarily with 9.57. Demons are going to pick up full court here. Wisebrod's going to lob it down long to Frenchwood. Frenchwood works into the front court, almost stripped from behind by Brandon Hutton. They get it to Wisebrod at the free throw line. He'll drive it straight in, lay up up and good. Wisebrod kind of left alone there. The lead is back to 11, 59-48. Jones into the front court, off the screen. Right wing Malik Matwire looking inside. He's going to dribble hand off to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney works to the free throw line, takes it in, clears space, and good. Just inside the free throw line, Sweeney's got four. 59-50, Demons hanging around with 9.23 left to go. 9.20 now as Torrey Noel brings it into the front court, guarded by Brandon Hutton. Noel looking to work off the high screen. Now steps back, top of the key, Wisebrod. Staggers, works around to the left side. Frenchwood now pulls it up. Free throw line jumper is good. Joey Frenchwood's got five. 61-50, quickly ahead the other way, Brandon Hutton. He'll drive right baseline and he's fouled. That'll be one and one for Brandon Hutton. Foul is called on James Harrison, that's his third. So Brandon Hutton goes to the strike. Number one, James Harrison, he's So Brandon Hutton to the strike to shoot the one and one. Front of the one and one is good. Brandon Hutton's first point of the ball game. Makes it 61-51 with 8.58 left to go. Demons and Lady Demons are back in action on Saturday on the road. Double header as the Lady Demons will start at 3.30. The Demons at 6 at Stephen F. Austin in Nacogdoches. Also, the baseball auction is at 6 p.m. in the Student Union Ballroom. Call the baseball offices for more information for tickets. Wise brought at the top, left wing to Harrison. He'll step through off a screen. Demons switch that. Right wing, Tori Noel. Noel with nine to shoot, pulls it all the way back out. One, four low, six to shoot. Noel drives the right side, goes with the reverse, loses it, ball loose. One second, Demons pick it up. C.J. Jones has it just knocked away off of Lamar. It'll belong to the Demons near half court. Demons get a nice defensive stop. Now let's see if they can follow that up with a good offensive series. Down 10 with 8.26 left to go. C.J. Jones brings it into the front court. Demons are shooting 50. Oh, our our uh, stats are down, so we're a little behind. Jones into the left corner. Wide open three. Sweeney is long. Rebound Brandon Hutton as he is knocked out of bounds. Foul is going to be called on Jordan Foster, and Hutton will shoot two. 8-13 left to go. Demons just hanging around, hanging around. Tell you what, this young team, fifth youngest in the nation, fun watching this team growing up. They've got really two very good opportunities at wins starting next Wednesday. Houston Baptist here at home and then on the road as Isaiah Sweeney clears their offensive rebound, puts it up, no good. Tip up good, Brandon Hutton. Hutton's got four. The Demons have once again cut the lead to seven at 61-54. Noel and Frenchwood work it up. Noel gets it into the front court, into the right corner for Harrison. Harrison drives with the left hand, now pulls it back out. Long to Frenchwood, 15 to shoot, clock under eight minutes, 7.47 left. Demons down seven, Frenchwood, top of the key three, no good. Rebound Malik Matwire. Matwire looks to turn and run. He'll bring it into the front court. Matwire flips it right corner. Brandon Hutton drives, Hutton, reverse layup, no good. Tip up, Isaiah, Ishmael Lane is fouled. He puts the bucket in, but he's fouled beforehand and Ish Lane will shoot two. Fourth foul on Jordan Foster. Great effort by the Northwestern State Demons, and the crowd responds to that effort by this Demon squad. 7.32 left, NSU trails 61-54. We'll take a break, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network.
The Steeman Sports Network broadcast is brought to you by Tommy Chester, Trey Murray, Mickey Walker, and Julie Henderson, all State Farm agents. Northwestern State still hanging around down 7, 61-54. We've seen a lot of longer stretches of good play for this Demon team. We haven't seen them hit those really bad offensive doldrums that we've seen in the past. The Demon team shooting 47% in the second half, 45% for the game. Ishmael Lane to the free throw line, knocks down the first one. He's got six points to go along with nine rebounds, working on his, what would be his eighth double-double of the year. Josh Inzeker leading the way with uh, eight double-doubles, not of the, in the conference, but leading the way in this game with eight double-doubles. Demons have scored the last six in a row since being down 11. They trail 61-56. Bosha knocked uh, Malik Matoire to the ground, no call. Joey Frenchwood works into the front court. Demons scramble around. No one's going to guard Frenchwood momentarily. Now the Demons get set up with 15 to shoot. Frenchwood out long, guarded by Sweeney. Left wing to Wisebrod. Wisebrod turns to face with eight and a traveling violation called as Wisebrod turned and switched pivot feet. And Ross Cullen's right on top of it. For the Cardinals, that is their 11th turnover of the ball game. Third in the second half. The Demons have 16 turnovers in the ball game. C.J. Jones into the front court. With 7.05 remaining, the Demons are down five. Ball in the right corner. Isaiah Sweeney penetrates right side, jump stops, floats it. Good with the right hand. Demons have cut the lead to three, 61-58, with 6.52 left to go in the ball game. And Lamar wants a timeout. And Mike McConaughey, the first guy out on the floor, the crowd gets on its feet to applaud the effort from this Northwestern State Demon team. 6.48 left to go, Northwestern State down three. We'll take a 30-second break, 30 seconds, and back with more on the Demon Sports Network. Left to go in the ball game. Northwestern State on an 8-0 run. They've cut an 11-point lead down to three. Demons in search of their first win in conference play. Their first win since all the way back on December the 9th. They have lost 14 in a row. Out long, Jordan Foster hands off. Joey Frenchwood will run the point for Lamar. They get it to the right wing to Harrison. James Harrison looking for the screen and roll. Harrison, deep three from the right wing and buries it. Harrison's got 15. 64-58, a big, big three. By the Cardinals, C.J. Jones works off the high screen. Double team comes at him. They flip it to Ishmael Lane. Left corner, Brandon Hutton. Hutton loses it, gets it back. Out long to Lane. Lane on the left wing. He'll drive, skip it right wing to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney's been hot. He'll work with the left hand. Pull up from 10s, long. Rebound pulled down by James Harrison. Joey Frenchwood will settle it down. Lamar Cardinal coach Tick Price telling him to slow it down as the clock goes under six minutes remaining. Harrison has it out long at the top. Working with the right hand. Now hands off to Frenchwood. 12 to shoot. Frenchwood backs out near the top. Screen and roll. Frenchwood works off the screen, drives the right side into the corner. Harrison another three. Good. Back-to-back -back threes by James Harrison. Has pushed the lead from three back to nine. C.J. Jones into the front court. Works around the double team. Flips it underneath Malik Matoire. Matoire will dunk it with two hands. First points of the ball game for Malik Matoire. Demons finally pick up their sixth assist of the ball game. Demons the lowest assist per game average in America, averaging just nine assists a game. Ball on the right side, Harrison who's made back-to-back -back threes. Dribbles to the right corner, double team there, flips it on the baseline, double team there, back to Harrison. Harrison will drive, he's fouled. We're gonna say on the floor, so no shot. 
Foul called on Brandon Hutton. That's his third. As Josh and Zeker will check in for Jordan Foster. Zar Perry will come in for Brandon Hutton. 67-60. Demons down by seven on defense. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Remember the rule change this year. Any personal foul in the front court resets the shot clock to 20, not to 30. Frenchwood, screen and roll, works to the right wing, leaves it inside the wise broad against McGuire. Works the right block, spins, back to the baseline, nowhere to go, now flips it back out to Frenchwood, back to Wisebrod, six to shoot. He drives the right baseline, shot is no good, but the foul is called on Malik Matwire. With four on the shot clock, Matwire will pick up his third. And Colton Wisebrod will go to the line to shoot a pair with 4.43 left. And the Demons down 67-60. A lot of fight in this Northwestern State squad, shooting 50% here in the second half. Wisebrod's first free throw is good. He's got 21 points to go along with nine rebounds. Makes it 68-60. Second free throw, no good. Rattled in and out, rebound Malik McTwire. He'll feed it to C.J. Jones, ahead to Zar Perry. Perry on the left wing. Works. Now throws it back out to Jones. Jones, high screen and roll, works to the right side, flip it into the right corner. Isaiah Sweeney back to Jones. Jones inside to Matwire. Matwire back to the basket, spins, goes up, gets the foul, and can't quite get the lefty push to fall. Foul called on Josh Inzeker, and the big man has fouled out. So no chance for Inzeker to pick up his ninth double-double. He leaves with two points and four rebounds after having gone one for six from the field. James Durham telling Tick Price he needs a sub, so they'll bring in Jordan Foster. Malik McTwire, the lefty, one of just two guys on the team right now that's been with the squad more than two years. McTwire and Ishmael Lane, the only two who have been on this squad for more than two years. McTwire missed most of last season with a knee injury. First free throw is good for McTwire, he's got three. Played just 10 games, then had a knee injury over the Christmas break and uh, did not play the rest of the way, but played too many games, had already played 10, therefore did not qualify for a medical red shirt. So, so uh, in terms of eligibility, he is a junior, but he makes both free throws. He's got four. Darian Dixon will check in for him. The Demons have cut the lead back to six again, 68-62, with 424 left to go. Mike McConathy directing traffic. They get it into Frenchwood under his own basket. Frenchwood, double team gonna run at him a moment for a moment, then go away. He'll bring it up with the left hand into the front court, guarded by Zar Perry. 19 to shoot, 4-12 left. Demons down six on defense. Frenchwood, left side Wisebrod, turns to face. Dribbles with the right hand down the right side. Shot blocked from behind by Larry Owens with seven to shoot. Now we have our under four media timeout. Four minutes exactly left to go. Demons keep hanging on. They're right around 68-62. Lamar with the lead. We'll take a break, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. They actively support Northwestern State and its communities. And your dollars stay in the communities they serve with CPTEL. minutes exactly left to go in this one. The Demons playing well tonight. Down 68-62. Only real, I 
biggest issue for the Demons in this one is turnovers. They're minus five in turnover margin, minus nine in points off turnovers. Uh, they're out rebounding Lamar by five. They have uh, held Lamar to 40% from the field. Wisebrod gets it underneath and has an easy lay-in off the inbound. That was well drawn up by the Cardinals. 70 to 62, Lamar with the lead. Into the front court, C.J. Jones works to the right side, skips it all the way back up. Matwire three from the top, good! Demons cut the lead to five, 70 to 65. Matwire knocks down the triple. That is uh, just his sixth made three of the season, and in conference play, just his sixth as well. Frenchwood gives it out long. Zori Bosha, 11 to shoot. Demons down five. Harrison will drive. He's fouled by Isaiah Sweeney, who didn't like the call. Sweeney will pick up his third, and James Harrison will go to the line to shoot two. Two 18-plus point scorers for Lamar. 23 for Wisebrod, 18 for James Harrison. By the way, Ishmael Lane has now moved into a tie for 10th in career block shots in Northwestern State history. Ties Larry Terry and Johnny Martin with 91 block shots on the season. This, by the way, will be one and one free throws for James Harrison. So the Demons, could they get lucky and have Harrison miss the front end of the one and one? Yes. The rebound goes out of bounds. It'll belong to Lamar, unfortunately. Ball got deflected out off of Malik Matwire, so Lamar will be able to run 30 seconds or close to 30 seconds off the shot clock. They lob it out to Wisebrod against Malik Matwire. Wisebrod's going to drive in, spin to the baseline, lay it up and in. Wisebrod's got 25 at 17 in the second half. Lead has been pushed back to seven at 72-65. Zar Perry works off the high screen from Matwire. Perry breaks down his man, flips it right wing. Isaiah Sweeney back to Perry. And that's going to be, oh, that's a terrible illegal screen call on Isaiah Sweeney. Oh, that is awful. Wow. Isaiah Sweeney was standing and handing the ball off, and the defender was actually spinning away from Sweeney and going back the other direction. And they called an illegal screen on Isaiah Sweeney. Just an awful call. 2.53 left. Demons are down seven. That's going to make things very difficult for NSU. High screen and roll. Frenchwood drives down the right side, has an easy lay in. Demons just fall asleep on that one. And Joey Frenchwood able to just take it right down the right side of the lane. Czar Perry tries to answer. Turn around on the way. Good. Perry does answer. And Mike McConaughey takes an immediate timeout. Czar Perry with a new career high, 16 points in this one. At 15 at Texas in the first game of the year. At nine at, against Letourneau, seven at SMU. Did not score against Rice and then uh, was gone all the way until the UCA game three games ago. Had four against UCA, seven against UNO, and 12 in, last game, in the last game against McNeese. So Mike McConaughey, the lead cut back down to seven again, calls the timeout. Demons, though, need stops. Lamar has been able to get the shots they need to go down. Mostly Weisbrod, 17 in the second half for him. Coming in was one of the guys on the list that could definitely be considered for player of the year in the Southland Conference. And Weisbrod appears to be cramping his right leg, his right calf. They were working on his calf that entire time out that the Demons took. 2.33 left, 74-67. Demons have already surpassed their normal point per game average. They lob the ball out long, and that is going to be a dunk for Jordan Foster. They threw the home run pass, and Foster tough collection under the basket, but made it count. Jones works off the screen. Back cut, knocked out of bounds, was looking for Zar Perry on the back cut. Lamar knocked it away. Malik Matwire will check in for Isaiah Sweeney. 220 left, Demons down nine, 76-67. Demons have uh, a 28-26 lead in the season series of the, the series against Lamar, but the Demons have lost the last three in a row against the Cardinals. CJ Jones dribbling, looking inside, now skips it left wing to Matwire. Matwire will drive left side, take it all the way, skip it back out to Jones, top of the key for three, good! 
First points of the second half for C.J. Jones. Demons have cut the lead again to six at 76-670. Into the front court, skip to the left corner. Harrison fires a three, no good. Long rebound, Wisebrod comes away with it. And a traveling violation called on Colton Wisebrod. Tick Price doesn't like it, Colton Wisebrod doesn't like it, but if you jump in the air without dribbling, you can't then dribble on your way down. That's a traveling violation. Minute 51 left, Demons are down six with a basketball. Ishmael Lane's gonna end down right in front of Tick Price. Gets it into Czar Perry. Minute 47 left, Demons with a basketball. Perry into the front court. And we're gonna have a hold underneath and we'll have free throws upcoming. Foul on Joey Frenchwood. That is his third. And Malik McTwire goes to the line to try to cut this lead to four. Hey, box out, press out. James Durham explaining to Tick Price that if you jump with the basketball, you cannot come back down with it or else it's a traveling. You can't even dribble it. Once you go off the ground and you come back down, that's a drag. But even if you try to bounce it as you're on the way back down, it doesn't matter. Malik McTwire, eight in the second half. Demons have cut the lead to five as he made the first free throw. Second free throw from McTwire. Back iron, no good. Rebound, no one for the Demons rebounding. So Lamar corrals it. Frenchwood in the backcourt. Minute 35 left to go. Demons down five. Frenchwood into the front court. Demons need a stop defensively. Ball at the top, Foster. Jordan Foster holds. Nowhere to go with it. Now throws the back door. It's taken away by Ishmael Lane. Tick Price slamming the table in front of us. Lane gives it back to Malik Matwire. Matwire, full head of steam, lost it. Ball out of bounds off Lamar. It'll stay Demon basketball with 22 to shoot. A minute 15 left. The Demons are down five. How do the Demons even remotely know how to close a game? They haven't won any games in conference play, and they've lost 14 in a row. They get it to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney back to the basket, works back to the basket. He's fouled by James Harrison, and that's his fourth, and Sweeney will go to the line. So Sweeney goes to the line. He can cut the lead to one possession with two free throws here. 76-71. Demons have made 11 free throws in each half. Prather Coliseum's quiet as Sweeney knocks down the first. He's got seven all in the second half. 76-72. Brandon Hutton's going to come check in. Sweeney misses the second one. Free throw is missed, but the foul called on the rebound, and Zori Bosha is going to shoot one, uh, shoot two, I believe. Foul on Sweeney was is his fifth, and he's fouled out of this ball game. So Isaiah Sweeney made one of two to cut the lead to four, and then after missing the second one, went in and fouled on the rebound. So Isaiah Sweeney with seven second half points will sit down. Northwestern State down by four with a minute nine remaining. It'll be free throws for Zori Bosha. Bosha a 55% free throw shooter and it is one and one by the way. So if Bosha misses, the Demons will have the, hopefully have the basketball with an opportunity to go down and cut the lead to, once again, one possession. Demons down 76-72. They've scored the last five in a row. Big threes in the second half from Malik McTwire and C.J. Jones. James Harrison will check out. Corey Noel will check in. Front of the 1-1, not even close for Zori Bosha. Demons clear the rebound with a minute seven, down four. Zar Perry into the front court. Works off the high screen, takes it down the left side of the lane. Off glass, no good. Rebound pulled down by Tori Noel. Noel is double teamed and he steps through. Instead, we're going to get a foul called on the Demons. Czar Perry will pick up his second personal. So this will be two free throws now for Tori Noel. Czar Perry had the opportunity. It looks like we've got blood from Malik Matwire. And Mike McConathy chatting with Ross Cullins Jr. about that last foul call while James Durham and Nathan Bemis come over and check the replay.
Checking to see, I would imagine, if there's anything. Malik Matwire bleeding from his nose. Obviously trying to make sure there wasn't anything malicious, but I didn't see that play, so I, haven't, I can't tell you either way whether I think it was malicious or not. If they threw an elbow, it could be a flagrant foul on Lamar, in which case the Demons would shoot free throws. So nothing they saw that was malicious, apparently. And we'll have two free throws for the Cardinals with 55 seconds left to go. Demons have been very game in this one. Scoring 72 points. Lamar gives up 69 a, a game. That's second best in the Southland Conference. The Demons only averaged 64 a game, but they scored 72 tonight. Larry Owens has 11 and 5. Zar Perry has 16 and 1. CJ Jones has 14 and 1. Between Perry and Jones, four assists, but unfortunately for Perry, nine turnovers. But again, you know, Zar Perry's only played a couple of games. He's played three games since coming back off of that off the floor issue. So, you know, if you if you think about this team, if Zar Perry's available for this team for the entire season, likely the outcomes of some of these games would have been different. I'm not saying the Demons are going to be 11 and 0, but certainly probably three, four, five wins that the Demons could have had. If you had a guy with Zar Perry's ability in there, he's got 16 in the ball game, but unfortunately drove that last possession and couldn't quite come up with the high archer off the glass. Looked like it was either tipped or he might have thought he was fouled. Now Ross Cullen Jr. is over taking a look at the monitor with 55 seconds left to go. They're cleaning up blood on the floor from where Malik Matwire was bleeding from his nose. So they get all the blood cleaned up. So we'll have two free throws for Tori Noel. Noel is a 64% free throw shooter. Two free, two makes, it's still a two possession ball game. First one is no good. Lead remains four. Lamar has missed two free throws in a row here down the stretch. So it can be no more than a five point lead. Second free throw from Noel is good, 77-72. 10 points now for Tory Noel. C.J. Jones into the front court with 50 seconds remaining. Jones works to the right wing, trying to get it inside. They get it inside. Ishmael Lane lays it up and in, and he's fouled! What a play! Foul called on Zori Bosha is his third. Lane's got nine. 77-74 with a free throw to cut it to two. Great play call by the Demons to be patient, work the ball inside to Ishmael Lane. He got a bucket and the foul. And that will be an assist to C.J. Jones, his fourth of the ball game. And Tick Price wants a timeout with 44 seconds left. He's gonna take a 30 second break, 30 second break, but the Demons have clawed back to within three. 77-74, we'll take a 30 second break, 30 seconds, and back with more on the Demon Sports Network. Four seconds left to go here in Natchitoches at Prather Coliseum. Northwestern State down to Lamar, 77-74. Ishmael Lane going to the line to try to complete a three-point play. It would give him 10 points in the ballgame to go along with nine rebounds. Hush falls over the Prather Coliseum crowd as Lane calmly knocks it down. Lane's got 10. Demons trail by two, 77-75. Crowd needs to get on their feet right now. They respond. Demons down two on defense. Joey Frenchwood out long, 17 to shoot. Frenchwood, right wing, Zori Bosha. Bosha, 13 to shoot, gives to Nick Garth. Garth guarded by Zar Perry, 10 to shoot. 
Hands off, Joey Frenchwood, eight to shoot. Out long, high screen and roll. Frenchwood, offensive foul! C.J. Jones draws the offensive foul on Joey Frenchwood, his fourth. And the Demons with 18 seconds left to go can tie it with a two, can win it with a three, or at least take the lead. 18.6 seconds left to go. Demons, 14 game losing streak. They're 0-11 in Southland Conference play, trying to win it here. C.J. Jones with 11, with 10. Top of the key, Hutton. Hutton will drive the right side, stripped by Joey Frenchwood. Frenchwood carried it, not called, and he gets fouled with two seconds left to go. Well, probably not what the Demons were looking for, a Brandon Hutton drive from the top of the key. Hutton gets stripped by Joey, uh, by Joey Frenchwood, who had committed the offensive foul, and then got it right back. He was fouled. Demons need him to make no more than one. One make, it's a three-point game. Two makes, it's over. First one is good. French Woods got eight. And Mike McConaughey is going to take the time out here with 2.7 seconds remaining. And again, you don't want to you don't want to excoriate Brandon Hutton because he's trying, and that's the thing. This demon team. If anything has been the issue for this Northwestern State team, it's that they try too hard sometimes, that you know, they try to make the perfect play every single time. In that situation, you know, you're trying to get the ball reversed. You're trying to look inside Ishmael Lane if you can get it to him. If not, you know, you want one of your guards. Uh, preferably, you want Zar Perry or C.J. Jones making that drive, but Brandon Hutton trying to drive from the top gets it stripped from the side. So now for the Demons, it comes down to one free throw. If Joey Frenchwood knocks this free throw down, this game is all but over with 2.7 seconds remaining. If he doesn't, the Demons have life, but they're gonna have to move down the floor in a hurry and jack a three quickly. 2.7 seconds left, and Joey Frenchwood will shoot one. If he makes it, the game is all but over, unless there's an odd foul call and made three. Frenchwood's second free throw is good, and that'll do it. 79-75, they'll lob it ahead to C.J. Jones. Jones will pull a three from the left wing, no good, and that'll do it. And uh, Mike McConaughey and his Northwestern State Demon team so close to that first victory in Southland Conference play, but unfortunately couldn't come away with it. Down 77-75, a turnover. The 18th of the ball game by the Demons led to Lamar pulling this one out.